Hi everyone, it's Envis here with a quick little video on how I made these Santa tags uh, which might be a fun project to do with the children in the run up to Christmas. So you're going to need some white cardstock, some red cardstock and some flesh coloured cardstock. The tag maker punch, a circle punch and the petal punch. And you need to punch two white tags, and cut the petal punch, punch the petals out twice. You're only going to need that smaller petal. You're going to need two of those. So set those to one side. and then you're going to need a flesh coloured circle. I actually used a patterned paper which is the perfect colour on the other side and just punch a circle. This is a one and a half inch circle and then finally a red tag. And that's all you're punching complete. Next, you're going to slice the top off that red tag. I actually cut it too deep. You'll see what I mean as we go on with the video, but uh, that makes Santa's hat. I haven't got any measurements, I just do them uh, each time. The pencil mark is where the red tag finishes, and I'm going to just slice the white tag off at that point and then move it down a little bit and slice it off again. So that will make the fur trim for Santa's hat. And my next job is to just to put some glitter onto, uh, onto that little piece of white. And for small pieces like this my favourite way of putting glitter on is to run it through a little Xyron machine and peel it off so that you've got a very even coat of adhesive on one side of, of the cardstock. This is where I get it stuck all over my fingers. And then you can just dump the glitter on top. This is a Martha Stewart extra fine glitter. So you get a very even coat of, of glitter doing it this way. And then when that's, uh, when I put it all back in, pretty much, I'm going to pop the piece through the Xyron machine again, so that this time the back of the glittered piece is sticky and it's all ready to go onto the hat when I'm ready for the next step. Next I'm going to work on Santa's face. Look at the glitter, you can... Uh, really shiny. I'm going to work on Santa's face and I'm using some chalk inks to just add some dots of, of red for some rosy cheeks for Santa. He has to have rosy cheeks. It must be all that cold air flying through the night. So and just some little a black fine liner pen to add some dots for his eyes. And then just put some glue on the back of those little petal pieces. And that makes his little moustache which goes over the yeah the rosy cheeks. So the rosy cheeks look as though they're popping out from behind his moustache. And that is his face done. This is where I realised that I'd gone a little bit wrong with the size of the hat because uh, when I stuck the face on I realised that his eyes, 
his face was going to be totally covered by his hat, which would have looked a bit ridiculous. Oh, and this is where I'm just showing you, at this stage is where I ran the first tag through the cutler bug using a Swiss Dots folder, I think it's called, uh, just to add some texture to the beard. But I decided against it for this one. I'm always very conscious in these little videos about the time constraints and I think you just need a general idea of, of what I did and how I did it. I don't want you feeling as though you're watching paint dry or something. So that's got uh, the face. He hasn't got such a big beard on this one. But you'll get the idea. That's his face pretty much. Uh, at least his eyes are showing this time. And the hat can now be popped on. And this is where the tag maker punch really comes into its own because you can just pop it in the little slot, push it in, and you get a perfectly centered hole um, right in the center of the tag. And you pop an eyelet into that, turn it round, pop that on, press it down, and you've got a perfectly set eyelet. It's a fabulous tool. So all that's left now is to pop his little glittery snow, snowy sort of trim onto his hat and then cut a little piece of ribbon to thread through the eyelet. <coughs> As I say, these would, these would look, really look quite cute hanging on the Christmas tree, I think. Uh, or obviously they would be lovely decorating your Christmas parcels, particularly if they're wrapped in brown paper. But the thing about brown paper parcels at the moment. So there we go. Very quick ideas um, for some Santa tags. One with a glittery hat trim and one with uh, embossed beard. So I hope this gives you some ideas and you can play around with it and that you have fun making them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.